A mystery person left flowers at her brother's grave for 70 years. And now, the sister finally knows who. What do all humans want more than anything? Immortality, exactly. Of course, we won't ever achieve that, except maybe if science makes some huge strides. But how else can immortality be achieved? Constant remembrance burning a hole in the collective memory. Does it need to be by someone we know? Not always. Anyone will do. Enter Anne Keir. After her brother died, some mystery person paid respects to his grave by placing flowers and poems by the headstone, year after year. She never knew who it was until one day she did some digging. Not grave digging, regular metaphorical digging. Anne's brother Carl Sharp died when he was only 14 back in 1947. He died on a Boy Scouts trip after an accident and was buried at St. Mary's Church in Presbury near Cheltenham, a very English affair. He died by drowning at Oxwich Bay near Swansea in August, the height of the summer season. Time magazine called Oxwich only recently the most beautiful beach in England. Well, on that day, he was an ugly monster that stole a child's life. Ronald Seymour Westboro turned out to be that mystery man. Ronald and Carl had been dear, dear friends, both scouts on the same trip. They'd shared a tent the night that Carl died. They were thick as thieves, and Ronald was devastated when Sharp drowned. In fact, Ronald was the one to find Sharp. He was face down in the bay when Ronald came around. No doubt the scene was terrifying and left an indelible mark on good old Ronald. He would pay respects to his dear friends starting at 18 when he became a man in the eyes of the law. Ronald had no idea that Anne had been looking for him. In fact, he had no idea that Carl had a sister. Interesting that they being best friends that never came up in conversation. Maybe guys don't talk about that kind of stuff in the scouts. Who knows? On the scouting trip, the boys were prohibited from going swimming in the bay. Of course, neither Carl nor Ronald honored the order and went in. That day in August, only one came out. Back in 2015, Anne had issued a plea for whomever was paying respects to the grave step forward and identify themselves. During Christmas, she would find the mystery stranger had placed a sprig of holly, a rod of corn wrapped in a sheath, some lines from poetry. It was all very mysterious and very inciting. She resorted to leaving a laminated note at Carl's grave requesting the person come forward. She wanted to be able to remember her brother with this person who seemed to know him but the laminated note went unsigned for so long. But then why does Ronald maintain that he had no idea Anne was trying to get in touch with him? Did he not see the laminated note in the two years it took the two to finally meet? Does this really add up? It was the BBC that ultimately had to track Ronald down at his Gloucester home. As part of their BBC series, Stranger at My Brother's Grave finally aired. It was only after Ronald was interviewed by the BBC that the pieces started to fall into place. Well, whatever actually happened that night some 70 years ago, Anne Keir seems to be delighted to have found her brother's mystery mourner. Perhaps this gives her some comfort. Perhaps it makes death less confusing, as long as she's happy. But still, it makes you wonder what actually happened that night in August on the bay. Why did Ronald claim he didn't know Carl had a sister? If they were best friends, did he not want to attend the funeral? If his flower giving had been so consistent, did he not see the laminated note? Death does strange things to people. Maybe those inconsistencies are just some of them. <laughs>